So, breaking news, if you haven't heard already, Remy Ma's son has been arrested for murder. Now, this to me is shocking, in my opinion. I don't care what no one says. I have been reading comments on Lipstick Alley about this, but this to me is shocking. And I'm going to tell you why. Because Remy Ma has always been very protective of her son. When she first made her way to the, to, the, to the music scene, she never even told anyone that she had a son. She just said she had a child. Okay, I remember because I remember when she first came on the scene publicly, which was literally 20, 20 years ago, this summer. When she was featured on, um, well, she wasn't featured. It was a Terror Squad song, Lean Back, okay? It was Terror Squad. It wasn't, people think it's Fat Joe's song, but actually, it's Lean Back, it's Terror Squad. It was one of the few number one songs on the Billboard Hot 100 in the summer of 2004. I love that song. And that's where we first got introduced to Remy Ma. At that time, she was known as Remy Martin, but because of... The whole um, Remy Martin um, company trying to um, have a litigation suit against her for using the name. She just um, changed it to Remy Ma. All right. So Remy Ma's son apparently was arrested for actually killing a man. Now, the thing about this whole situation is that the man that he allegedly, because he accused of being killed, of killing is a man that is like a 47 year old drug lord all right now i'm gonna say something i remember when that case hit when that case hit back in 2021 being that i'm from new york the case was out in queens i remember when it hit and i remember when it was a big mess because People were trying to find out who killed this drug lord. And the drug lord is not American. I believe he's Haitian or some other type of Caribbean person. Now, I'm going to be really honest about this. And I'm going to say that I'm not going to read the whole thing. But I'm really hurt by this. This young man grew up for six years without his mom okay then his mother came back out of prison was released in 2014 so for 10 years this young man got to be with his mother he even has a daughter and his daughter actually is about suppose like two or three years old i don't know But the thing is that it's like a cycle with Remy Ma. Like Remy Ma, I feel as though has a, I don't want to say the word, but I'm going to say it. It's like a curse on her. Like her sister was arrested for gun violence. She was arrested for gun violence. Everyone around her, including herself, have been arrested in connection to gun violence. The only difference is, is that her and her sister, their victims did not pass away. This victim has passed away. Now, I'm a person that I believe you're innocent or proven guilty unless it's on video or on audio even. And my thing with this is I'm not going to be quick to say this is why I did it. Okay? Now... They investigated this for three years, and supposedly they're saying that this is a man, along with another guy named Richard Swagger. Um, her son's name is Jason Scott, by the way. And it reads, um, according to a report by Fox 5 New York, law enforcement sources say Remy Ma's 23-year-old son, Jason Scott, has been charged with murder. This story is still in development, but reporter Lisa Evers claims that Scott and another man were arrested and charged with first-degree murder, two counts of weapon possession, and reckless endangerment. 
The charges are in connection to the murder of 47-year-old Darius Gillibo. They believe it was a murder for hire plot. We'll keep you updated. Now, remember, I just said that this man, Mr. Um, Gillibo, was actually a drug lord. And somebody posted on Lipstick Alley an article of when the crime first hit. Because I remember when this hit. That, um, that he was a drug lord. Now, the man, it happened in the, the, the okay, so I'm going to read the, the story, which was literally five years ago, okay? So it reads, a story of man shot and killed in South Jamaica, NYPD. An alleged drug kingpin from Astoria was gunned down on, in broad daylight in South Jamaica on Monday afternoon. Darius Gilbo, or Gilbo, I think it might be Gilbo. Darius Gil, Gilbo, 47, of 35th Avenue near Ravenswood Houses, was seen arguing with two men before they allegedly opened fire, according to authorities. Gilbo was discovered by officers from the NYPD's 113th Precinct in Jamaica, answering to a 911 call regarding a man shot in the intersection of 148th Street and Rockaway Boulevard just before 1 p.m. on June 7th. Gilbo was found unconscious and unresponsive with multiple gunshot wounds to the head and the chest. EMS responded to the location and transported Gilbo to Jamaica Hospital Medical Center, where he was pronounced dead according to the police. The victim in the shooting was no strange to law enforcement, having been arrested 13 times and serving three jail terms, according to State Attorney General's office. Gilbo was known as D-Block. Oh, God, why is everybody a freaking D-Block in New York? I, I had to go off tangent about that. On the streets. He was among 54 people who were indicted in a sweeping investigation of Operation Heat Wave in November 2020, according to the AG's office. Gilbo was charged with supplying a drug ring in upstate Jefferson County, according to Attorney General Letitia James. No arrests have been made in the shooting and the investigation is ongoing, according to NYPD. Now, this was reported on June 8, 2021. Literally three years and 11 days to today. All right? So, I'm going to post this on my page. And I'm going to go back and give my give my my thoughts about this Remy Ma I was just thinking about her yesterday she crossed my mind because I said to myself Sheetha was a big hit on the streets and it was the takedown of Nicki Minaj and for three years Nicki Minaj had to struggle with you know, trying to get, I don't want to say she never left mainstream, never left the mainstream um, music, but to have somebody who was propped up to replace her because the powers that be wanted Nicki Minaj out, I said, if it wasn't for Remy Ma, Cardi B wouldn't have been big. And the thing that they both have in common is that they both starred on Love & Hip Hop New York. Now, once we got into the pandemic, I will say this, the pandemic saved Nicki Minaj's career. If it wasn't for the pandemic, Nicki Minaj wouldn't have that second, um, I would call that, that, that rebirth and having all those three number one hits on the Billboard Hot 100. Because that was big. Because I don't care what nobody said. Anaconda should have went number one. That was a number one hit. I'm mad about that to this day. And that was 2014. The year that Remy Ma was released. Very interesting how all this is intertwined. But also the twine is that this crime happened in South Jamaica. The same place where Nicki Minaj is from. Now, Nicki Minaj, I think the man out is Haitian. But he might be Trinidadian also. Um, you know, it's weird that a kid from the Bronx, but supposedly him and his mother, they was living out in Jersey, I believe. What are you doing in South Jamaica, Queens, 
committing a crime when your 21 at the time 20 year old ass should have been in college or at least working a nine to five or trying to work in an industry because supposedly her son is a is a, a musical artist as well there's something wrong in their family you have Remy Ma that went to jail for six years. The sister, I don't know if she did time for her attempted a murder or attempt or, or shooting. Then the mother did crack cocaine. Now you have a son who's being charged for murder. That's a whole nother beast. So it's like the cycle with this family is getting worse and worse and worse. Remy Ma has a daughter. Her daughter is, I believe, going to be six years old, five or six years old. Then you have this little boy who has a two or three, a two or three year old daughter. Then you have the allegations from last year where Remy was um, cheating on Papoose with this um, professional battle rapper. Something's not right in the buttermilk, okay? And this man is charged with first degree murder, as well as two counts of weapon possession and reckless endangerment. That can be life. This is no joke. This young man killed somebody who was more than twice his age. This man killed somebody who was older than his mother. Now, as far as his father, we don't know. But he is a rapper, and he goes by the name Jay Smith. And um, this is just sad. This is just sad. This is a sad story. I feel as though... When she went to jail, he could have harbored some pain and hurt over it that his mom was gone for six years. Um, I mean, the woman's career is finally back out. She may not have like a recording career, but her performance career is on top. She also had a commentary career. She was supposed to be one of the people added to a new lineup with the breakfast club but it didn't happen but the thing is that the woman has a up and up she has a swinging career and this could ruin if this whole thing could ruin her whole brand even if let's say this man is found not guilty that doesn't mean they're going to you know say well you know um it's bad PR because you know the industry is fickle. It's fickle. But what I'm trying to figure out is if he did this, why? And why go to South Jamaica? Like, what was in there in South Jamaica? And it took them three years to find this out. This ain't, sorry, this ain't no joke. But with that being said, I'm signing off. Thank you for listening, and you know, I got one more thing to say, and all my New York folks may know what I may know what I mean when I say this. Remy Ma, listen carefully. Whatever you do, do not hire Dawn Florio to represent your son. If you want your son to to be acquitted for this, do not hire Dawn Florio. Anyone, I would rather you hire Benjamin Crump. Even though he's not a criminal uh, attorney, goddamn, he got more wins than Dawn Florio. And with that being said, I'm signing off. And maybe I should do a commentary about that because I've been saying that for a while now. And some people be like, why are you saying that? I'll explain that in a lot. But whatever you do, do not hire Dawn Florio. Hire Sam Stanford, Stanford Rubenstein. Hire someone who has wins. You know, we don't have Johnny Cochran anymore. We don't have, you know, like Effie Bailey, you know, don't not Dawn Florio. I'm sorry. And with that being said, I'm signing out. Thank you for listening and tuning in. And I know people will come at me about the Dawn Florio thing. I don't give a damn. Thank you. Later.